Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about motherboard spacers. Please subscribe this channel to know when a new video is posted. Spacers, as known as hex standoff, are a small inexpensive metal purse. Even though spacers come in different type and size, the one you see in above photo can be used for motherboard installation. Without them, your expensive motherboard could be damaged. That's why it's good to know about spacers. In this slide, for all three cases, left side panel is removed to access inside so that you can assemble a PC. After system is built, you have to install back this side panel. Once the panel is closed, I mean screw down, you cannot access CPU, RAM or hard drives. That is the main reason of using a case to keep all expensive computer parts safe. But you should have full access to IO connectors so that you could connect mouse, keyboard to the system. So let's find out how to get full access to IO connectors. Since we want to have full access to connectors, Let's locate each I.O. connector and observe its location and clearance. Clearance means how much empty area is needed around a connector so that you can easily plug in or out a cable to that connector. For example, lower I.O. connectors often need attention. After placing the board on tray, two scenarios may happen. One. On top photo, some connectors can be accessed at all, such as HDMI, DVI, USB-C, and USB. This is something you do not want. Now, on the lower photo, all connectors are fully visible and is what we expect to see, right? Look at here, you can see everything all IO connectors are fully visible. So if you encounter issue like top photo, how to fix it? In order to find out the root cause of this problem, let's find out what's going on inside the case. So what is happening? Let's assume case back panel, the red rectangle is see-through, so we can see the board inside the case. Here on the right side, thick red line here is the motherboard tray inside the case. Here is the black line, this black line that is the motherboard. Left side the cutout on back panel. From above drawing, you notice cutout starts from, starts few millimeter above of tray, not at tray. So lower part of IO connector about 5 to 6 millimeter height will be hidden by back panel. So that's the reason we cannot see see the whole connector. It's there, you just cannot see it because it's covered by the back panel. So what is the solution? Since tray and cutout are fixed, a board can be lifted up by spacers. You could see the spacer here. So we put some spacer below the board and lift the board so that they align, the IO connectors can align to the cutout. Case makers also try to help you. A case may have spacers pre-installed. Look at the left side. I think this is a this is a spacer and this is empty and maybe here you have another spacer. And for this, because of the photo, I'm not really sure, but looks like they have spacers too. So, they may have, so the case may have pre-installed or supplied as accessories. So when you buy the case, check the box, maybe you could find a small packet with um, uh, where you can find some spacers. Let's take a look at a spacer itself. There are many types of spacer. The one you see at left is used for motherboard installation. Lower part looks familiar like a screw, right? It's a threaded screw. Note diameter and thread 
size for both spacer and tray hole must be same. And now top part as known as body. Body height for all must be same. If not, board will bend and damage over time. At late, here the body height for all spacers are 6.5 mm. All spacers must have flat top surface with a threaded hole which must be fully visible through motherboard's mounting hole. This is very important. You have to see the hole so that you can install a screw. Right? And when installing a spacer on tray, screw down all the way until its body touches the tray. In that way, all top surfaces should be on same level. So what we have found out so far, in top photo, before adding spacers, motherboard I.O. connectors are partially visible. In bottom photo, after adding spacers, motherboard I.O. connectors are fully visible. Spacers also protect your board. Assume in this photo you did not use any spacers and you could still see all I.O. connectors like this. Do not continue installation unless you confirm all parts and pins from board's bottom side. Remember bottom side. Do not touch metal tray below. The photo at right shows a board's bottom side. At right side. This place is for memory modules. Here is the PCI area and you see a lot of lot of parts are mounted here and I think these are the power supply cable. So due to spacers your expensive board will be moved away from metal tray and in that way board cannot be damaged by short circuit. Now conclusion we hope you found this video useful. We invite you to subscribe and watch our upcoming videos. Please feel free to post comments after reading blogs from DBA site. And if you have any question, please ask. Thank you for watching.